I am the Professor Professori Ulius Sumner Miller. And in this castle, I do strange things amidst strange things. We were last engaged with what I call the paradox of forces. Paradox, dilemma, very doubtful thing to consider. I put a thousand grams on this scale and it reads a thousand grams. If the system is at rest or moving uniformly up or uniformly down. If I put 2,000 grams on it, it reads 2,000. If the system is at rest, or moving uniformly up, or uniformly down. Now, before I forget it, I want to say to you why your knees buckle when the elevator starts up, and why they, your belly feels empty when it starts down. Let me put you in that elevator again. Here are you, here you are in that elevator. Looks like me a little bit. When the elevator is on the ground floor at rest, I push on the floor with my weight, the floor pushes on me with an equal force. Now when the elevator starts up with an acceleration, an extra force is needed and my knees buckle. Now when you're way up there and the elevator starts down suddenly, your feet and body start down with it, but uh, your belly feels empty for a reason you should now think about. And I said that the mathematics is this. A consequence which you might enjoy. Supposing this was a rigid rod instead of a flexible cable, and the elevator were driven down by a mechanism faster at a greater acceleration than that, than free fall, imagine. Soon, the top of the elevator would overcome your, your, you and bop you on the head. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? One other thing, supposing the cable broke, the acceleration would be free fall and you would be weightless. All enchanting things. But now, what is the paradox? I am going to put the scale in a horizontal line on this board, and I am going to put, I need my glasses for this. I need my glasses for this. I am going to put 1,000 grams on this side and I have a pulley to reduce the friction and I am going to put 1,000 grams on this side 1,000 grams and then I'm going to cover it so evil eyes cannot see it and so what do I have? 1,000 grams pulling to my right and 1,000 grams pulling to my left and I'm going to represent the picture on the board, and you will see where the dilemma arises. Here is the spring in the scale. There is a pulley. There is a pulley. Here I have put 1,000 grams, abbreviation GM period. And here I have put 1,000 grams, GM period. And so what is the problem? Well, the problem is obvious. I have a thousand grams pulling that way and a thousand grams pulling that way. And the question now is, what does the scale read? What does the scale, whoops, scale read? And I'm going to offer you some uh, uh, possibilities. Now, remember, in this place, strange things happen, stranger things emerge, and I am given to putting you on the wrong track so that you think more and better. I say as follows. Number one possibility. A thousand grams to the right, a thousand grams to the left. Oh, it reads zero grams. No, no, no. A thousand to the right, a thousand to the left, 2,000 grams. And maybe there, is, there are other choices. And I think it best to leave it for you to contemplate until we meet again. And are you not agreed? Are you not agreed that this is an enchanting question to which we must address ourselves? 
and I thank you for watching.